Good morning, friends and fellow farmers. Okay, it's the 20th. Oh, it's Evelyn's birthday. We've got uh, fragments of the past. Yes, we finished up the bones. We got a pile of money for that. That was good. And uh, we need to bring us a coconut and increase our levels, uh, friendship levels with Silly. We can do it. Very good. So, as reading just the other day, uh, there is going to be a concern I announced. Um, 1.6, of course, it has been, it's been on, in the works, but I'm not sure the details were fully known other than it was going to improve things for modders, which is really cool. And that would uh, hopefully make, you know, in, in, either increase the amount of stuff we see here or just improve the ability of modders to keep up because it's going to be hard working with this. Um, so there's a whole modding thing and uh, that there is going to be some content, although limited. I think he was quick to qualify how... You know, don't get uh, your expectations too high. But there will be content, um, which is also uh, kind of surprising and quite cool. Let's see here. So we got more. Okay, so we'll read these in a sec. Um, but what it means is that he was setting aside the Haunted Chocolatier to work on 1.6, which if that says anything, um, that's significant. So hopefully, I, I have no idea timeline. I know he's been working on it for a bit from what I've heard. So... I don't know if it's the final push or where we're at with that, but hopefully, um, I think we're going to be through a lot of what we're trying to do here before that even happens. But what I kind of am hoping is that, uh, you know, we'll have gone through the major story of uh, Expanded, I hope, um, but then we'll it'll change modding and it'll make it easier and we'll be able to do other stuff. So either attempt, uh, you know, other mods and things like that, but we'll see. At any rate, uh, I, the implications are interesting, so it'll be cool to see. Day 14 of the note here. After half, to, half a month on this island, I've learned a thing or two about finding these golden nuts. Okay, we've learned about golden nuts. Now, the next note, it says... Oh, it was a note about where to find stuff. <laughs> Whatever. All good. We'll, we'll figure it out event. Oh, there we go. We learned about bone mills. Yeah. From Gunter. So that's exciting, because that now is a thing that we can make good use of. Uh, where would our bone mills be? Here's our bone mill. Um, that's really simple to make. And uh, in fact, I will make one of those. So let's go and put this old bone mill back here next to the recycler. Now, I, I believe the only thing we can really put in there is... Uh, okay, palm fossils. Yeah, that one's good. Um, I, and I'm not really going to worry about the island for now. So all of these fossils can are going to get chewed up and spit out. <laughs> so we're just going to have fertilizer appearing in here magically now, which is cool. Uh, I'm fine with that. And then we, we obviously need some more uh, coal in there because we're running low. So let's see. Okay, I'll put 30 coal in there. Um, I'll take the bones out of here. Again, I don't really... I don't need them for now, so... Oop, did I not... <laughs> Let me now take some of the coal and dump that off. There we go. Okay, now we can go dump off our things and uh, let stuff just grind away. Again, I know some of these things we're gonna we'll need for the island stuff, but I don't even know that I'm gonna bother with the island. Uh, yeah, I'd inquired and people had noted that the island really hasn't seen I modding too much. What are these? <laughs> what is this? monstrous thing. I'm, I'm a little scared. Okay, uh, these demon roots coming out of the ground. Do I need to use a scythe? No? Wow, okay. So these things just keep growing. Wow, that's wild. I, I'm excited to see what, what monstrosities manifest from the ground with this stuff. This is cool. Well, that's nice. Everything's just grown and doing its thing. I'm just going to let you be. I'm a little scared. <laughs> just just slightly scared. Because that stuff looks terrifying. Uh, let's now... Right, I was keeping a... Uh, I don't think I was really worrying about these flowers anymore, was I? <laughs> I, I don't know. Is that a duplicate? No, it isn't. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm honestly keeping anymore. Let's go throw some stuff in the fridge. I, again, at a point where like, I don't really care about the money and all that, I don't foresee 
I'm not doing a completionist run in this playthrough. This is all about the story. So really, I'm just going to chuck, you know, stuff in here that I might need for uh, whatever, cooking, etc. Uh, do I have any other potatoes? Let's see here. Let's organize this. Um, I don't know. Yeah, there's nothing really in there. And then this one here, let's organize this. Okay, we have some potatoes, so that's good. Uh, I didn't have any other beets. We got one beet. Radish. I feel like I need more beets for... Did we do the mayor's quest already? The radish is fine. We can get rid of the radish. Uh, yeah, I definitely feel like I should keep the beets. And I'll keep one of those coconuts because I need that. Whatever. All right, everything else is good enough. Good enough. I'm not going to concern myself too much with all of this. Let's dump off things. Uh, to that, and then there. I think we're good. Let's go wander around town. It's Saturday. It's a good day. Get things done. Visit people. Say hi. How are we with our saying hey? Like, who am I supposed to be saying hey to? Okay, uh, Sebastian, I could be saying hey to. Um, it's Evelyn's birthday. Oh, right, Evelyn's birthday. Hmm. I feel like she would like more than a cup of coffee. Right, so, yeah, I've gotten all these, you know, kind of moving along here. Jody, Carolyn, Andy, and then Alex I have to ask out. Then we'll see Alex's uh, cutscene. Pam, how are you? Just walk around town with coffee on my head. No big deal. Be careful. Harvey, I think we're already... We've won your heart already, but, you know, have a thing. Okay, is Alex awake? My dude, big moment. I didn't think you felt this way for me. I guess we're a couple now. I guess it's interesting that some people are totally different than us, you know? I don't always understand why others act the way they do, but that's fine. Okay, um... I don't really have anything healthy to give you, so have a cup of coffee. Oh, that's it. We're done for the week. Okay. Oh, hold up. Oh, you know what? Here. I had a feeling you would bring me something wonderful. This is fantastic. I've told you that George and I have lived in our house for 30 years. I hope you stay here for a while. Aw, happy birthday. Okay, Gus is probably not conscious yet. Let's go in here and see who's... Uh-oh. Is this a follow-up? Yeah, I've been doing mostly all right. The first few days were hell, but I'm being if I'm being honest, it's been going a lot better. Like, a part of me feels uh, more secure in what it's doing. I've been trying out new things in the meantime. Me and I even made this cake. Also, I've been doing uh, lightweight magic, so that's how that appeared back there. For me? And for Carolyn and Abby, if you feel like sharing, it's yours. I wanted to apologize for acting the way I acted. The truth is I really appreciate this job. You were the first person who really gave me a chance when I came back to town. Despite the fact that I was so sure you hated me as a teen, not sure that I'd blame you. I don't know if what uh, you told me is true, but just know I don't hold any grudges if you want to leave things here between us. I mean, I meant what I said. I want you to come back. Oh, sorry, I was waiting for that backhanded remark. Don't want me to come back because the shelves won't stock themselves or because you're beneath taking the trash out? I'm telling you, I mean it. I don't appreciate you doubting my sincerity like this. Why would I tell you these things if I didn't mean them? I don't know. I, I don't know. Can you be sincere just this once? I... No, I mean it. Can you? Can I? I'd like to try. Alright. I miss your dad, but I shouldn't treat you like him. Man never tried a day in his life. But I see you trying every day. But then I look at my wife and Abigail and you make me fear something that will happen to them so much, I end up taking it out on you. I'm sorry too. Truth is, if I was anything like you, I'd be honored. If I had an ounce of your resilience, I'd be the most fortunate man. Man, you're gonna make me cry. You just have everything so together. A house, a beautiful wife, a kid. For your sake, you knew my dad more than I ever knew him. 
I've been so jealous of your life for so long, I started lashing out. It's no excuse, but I'm sorry, really am. I want to keep doing actual work into bettering my life. Moving here was a start, but I need to keep trying every day so I don't ever have to feel like I need substances to take the edge off. I'd love to come back to work if you'll have me. How many times do I have to tell you the job is yours, you thick-headed knob? I think that's enough sincerity for a whole day. Go put your on your apron and help me out. What do you say? On my way, boss. All right, that's been resolved for now. Wow. Busy times. Um, okay, so how, how are things here? <laughs> At the Giftathon. Um, no, Pierre's, yeah, we're way working on Pierre. Okay, hey, bud. How's it going, by the way? Hey, yeah, just trying to make amends and all. One thing, one day at a time, right? Um, let's see here. Let's see our farmhouse. Did I have... Uh, oh, okay. I think I must have... There we go. I left. I knew I had a plate of sashimi here or sushi from... It's very nice of you. I like this. It's good to have the kid back. Uh, go lonely around the shop without him. Sashimi? I guess that one is. That's good. He's happy to have the kid back. Carolyn. Oh, goodness. Are you sure? Everything seemed to be going a lot better since Pierre and Sterling made up. I'm glad Sterling apologized. My husband was very upset. That cake he and Mia baked was delicious, though. What, you guys already vacuumed that thing up? That is amazing. I'm trying to remember at what point do we have our little moment back here? I did we already do that? I don't recall. So hopefully by the uh, at the end of the month I'm able to come and borrow a green tea trimming. <laughs> I hope. Maybe let's go give Gus his thing. Hey bud. The dwarves is small smaller now have evaded me for years, but they are real, I know it. I think one came last night and inquired my favorite pen. Or, hear me out, you're delusional. Oh, okay, it's only 11. Let's, uh... He's not delusional. There's stuff afoot. Oh, Eloise. It's the gang. Hey, gang. Okay, let's see here. What do we have? Uh... We got a pile of these. And then... Okay, let's, let's go gifting this stuff out. Okay. How's it going, Eloise? Lots of berries grow here in the winter and fall. That's why the birds love East Carp. Sometimes I see pelicans near the beach. Big birds with tremendous beaks and tiny feet. Tee hee. <laughs> Tee hee indeed. Now, Krobes, where is Krobus in our list? I have all of the things I've done it kind of a lousy job with. Ah, oh, there's Krobus. Let's go say hi to Krobus. Krobes, 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 Krobes. Uh, and here you go, bud. On Fridays, I stay silent as a sign of devotion to Yoba. Ring around the rosy, sniffle. Pockets full of posies, ashes, ashes. Ah, we all fall down. Oh, chew. Wow, Laurel, you have a strange sneeze. Oh, I didn't mean to. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen you sneeze before. Wait, can you even get sick? Do you need any more blankets? I know your place gets chilly at night with the broken windows. Oh no, what if you catch a cold? Heh, <laughs> we're okay. Boyd likes to turn really big at night when the wind gets too strong, so big that he takes up most of the bed. No worries, I can keep Lavril plenty warm. If she does, does get sick, I will destroy all the diseases in the world. Destroy them all. Okay, that settles it. I'm having a slumber party at my house and you absolutely have to come. A slumber party? 
Yeah, we have a massive sleepover and stay up talking all night long. Aunt Marnie says that boys aren't allowed, though. What? But I want to come, too. Sorry, Vinny. Girls only night. We're going to have tea party, maybe paint our nails. We're definitely going to talk about our feelings, maybe raid our favorite birds. Oh, that sounds extremely boring. Void and I are going to have our own boys night, right? Void, void. Question mark. <laughs> me? You want me to come? Yeah, you'll stay over the night. I can show you my pet rock. Mom can bake us cookies, and you seem really cool. I want to play with you more. Hooray! I am indeed great and mighty. I'm also very humble, good human. You are a bit cool as well. About as cool as the button stitched into my left paw. Wow, we! I'll go tell my mom right now. Tomorrow's going to be so much fun. Oh. Vincent usually makes a fuss whenever I sleep at Ellie's place. I'm glad they're getting along. Why are you looking at me like that? You must have fallen for my charms. Do you want to feel my left paw? It is very soft. Yes. <laughs> Lavril, we'll see you tomorrow night at my house, okay? You're one of my best friends ever. Really? Teehee, I'll see you tomorrow. Now, we had a thing to do. We had a meet over at the house. I don't remember the details of that, as that was uh, maybe not a long time ago for everyone, but it was for me, so I don't remember what's going on there um i also need to go wow i got okay <laughs> there's so much happening here okay hold up you okay juliet sorry how's it going i do enjoy a bit of beach coming i found the most beautiful shells and it keeps my mind off things that's good let's go to the mines and then we'll come down and we'll say hi to yeah everybody up here Gunter. He's having a ponder. Ah, there you are. I arrived early to ready myself for our expedition. Are you nervous? Don't worry, I'll protect you. Well, ask me if he's nervous. Well, yes, I am nervous. This is my first time exploring the mines. I'm honored a revered adventure such as yourself is escorting me. I'll follow your lead, Mr. Mount Hodge. As we pop into some sections of the mines, I don't know. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> he says, This equipment was abandoned when miners hit a void spirit nest decades ago, shortly after the Adventure Guild was established here. A void spirit nest. This floor won't aid in my research. We'll need to find a cavern undisturbed by human activity. Alright, well, let's go down these ladders and see where we head. Now we're going to have to hack our way through the jungle here. Mr. Mount Hodge. There's a small gap between these cavern walls. Perhaps there's something that leads to it. Oh, we got all kinds of goodies here. What should I do? Stay close to me? Let me go in first. I'll be right behind you. Ooh, we found all goodies for him. Here you go, bud. There's ores. There's a dwarvish helm. There's a dwarvish computer. Broken sword. It's dark. Let me turn on my lantern. Ah, a treasure trove of untampered artifacts. Oh, we just murdered a slime. Maybe not the best thing. Thank you for protecting me. I prefer them petrified. <laughs> this is quite the find we stumbled into. I'll start excavating now. The sooner I'm done, the sooner we can leave these perilous caverns. Yes, these dwarvish artifacts will greatly help my research. You'll receive prompt payment in the mail. Bonus included for your courageous actions. Well. Okay, that was cool. So we saved his life. That's how we do. How's it going, Gertrude? I miss dry heat of the desert. It's too humid here. 
Hey, dude. Now, um... Let's see, we have... If I go to my adventurer's chest... Like, uh, I think I was told one of these. Ah, Merlin. That slam tremor ring used to belong to another, and now it's yours, adventure. Treat a will. Hey, how's it going? Sometimes silly miss cave home. Want to dodge miss home too? Right, now what, what did silly like? I, I don't have any sense of what silly... Did silly like a cup of coffee? I feel the answer was no. Uh, we don't... Oh, hold up. He hates slime. All right, okay. Uh, oop. There we go. He dislikes cave stuff. So, uh... Right, I was given some suggestions about Silly, and I forget them now. So, Silly... <laughs> what would you like, my friend? Um... Does Silly want a shiny thing? Does Silly like that? I can't imagine Silly would want slime. So I, I can't give it like the basic stuff I was giving it. I'm gonna give it like a gem. Oh, yeah, okay, Silly's all done. <laughs> okay, so, I don't know. People aren't around. You know how it is. Um, I'd like to go to the pub tonight. Oh, I could have gone to see our friend. That's fine. And we'll leave our stuff alone there. Um, let's see here. Is the doctor in? This house is huge. I guess the answer is maybe no? I don't know. It's hard to say. Okay, I'm gonna... No, oh, I can't close that. Hey, parrot. Break and enter! Break and enter! Yeah, that's me, buddy. Uh, okay. Hey, champ. The emperor looks delighted. Quack. <laughs> nice. Oh, there she is. Excuse me, Baron. Hope that you have not been entertaining the notion of entering these vile caverns, so dank, so dreary, and positively overflowing with manner, all manner of terrible fiends. You know how we do. Little caving. Let's see, you gotta, you gotta do her thing. How are you today, by the way? Gremlin loves to bark at the pelicans. I'm kind of scared if one of them might eat her. Gremlin, okay. Oh, no, that's... Gremlin, take it easy out there. Okay, Rosa's uh, somewhere else. Gremlin, how are you doing? Please don't eat me, Gremlin. Don't eat anyone else. Oh, okay. Um, let's see here. She, yeah, okay. I don't know her. That's fine. Rosa. Oh, well, let's talk. This place can be a little bit creepy at night. It's so big and cold, old. Sometimes it makes those weird groaning noises, but it's probably not ghosts, right? Hey, thanks. Tonight, yeah, I'll be hanging out with my friends. Online chat isn't the same, but it's better than nothing, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's uh, a fair assessment, kid. Fair assessment. Ooh, gold panning opportunity. Copper ore and coal. That's nice. Um, did I end up getting... Did I refresh my... No, I don't have any more ice cream cones. I don't know what else Lexi liked, so I, I might just leave that alone for the moment. Unless I put them in my fridge to keep them cold, but I don't think I did that. Okay, so, oh, look at that. I guess I could come and get some stuff here. Hey, 
is a, a lot of gems. Uh, we already have too much junk in our inventory. Uh, actually, we'll take... We'll reclaim. Alright, well, let's just leave it. Uh, we're, we don't really have room. And I wanted to get over to the pub anyway, because we have some giftings to do there. It's all good. So yeah, I don't know what... Uh, now, what major story points we have yet to hit? Um, there was haunted house stuff. Uh, and I don't know what time, you know, I if there's a specific day I have to stumble into that or what. Maybe let's try that. Just see if any of that happens here. It's probably after, like, 6 o'clock. How's it going, Void? I'm on patrol. Do you have a permit to be here? Otherwise, I need to confiscate all your cookies. <laughs> That's fair. I'm just going to wait till 6, and then I'll go outside. There we go. Yeah, I thought there was a thing that was going to happen. You made it. Rose and me were just planning our investigation. You know, there's a very special kid living here, right? Oh, yeah, of course you do. Sorry, my memory's all a bit hazy about that night. Told you about it, Lavril, didn't I? Anywho, it would be rude to barge right in on someone's house, so I figured we should just wait for you, since you know Lavril better than the rest of us. Alright, let's uh, tiptoe in. Who's there? I mean, uh, what's the password? Cookies? Void is great and mighty. I brought cookies. Really? You better not be lying to me, otherwise I will be very disappointed. So yeah, we brought you something that's not much, but Rosa made it. It's a maple bar. You made this for me? Thank you. We've come looking for someone, Lavril. You have? Her name was Lily Ann. We think she might be a ghost. Another ghost? Hmm, I don't think so. Void and Monhodge scared all the bad ones away. Ooh, a uh, pairs or some. Huh? What was that? Oh. Thank you. Our friend says that person lived here once a very long time ago. She's not here anymore, but she left some of her sadness behind. See, I knew she wasn't dead. Now let's not be too hasty there. May we have a look around? Please, we're trying to find out what happened to her. Void is all scribbles. Lavril is singing. Lavril has agreed that you may. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have important top secret business to attend to, says Void. Alright. I hope you find what you're looking for. That's nice. We've been left alone. She's a sweet kid. Now we need to look for clues. Julie, could you pick up all these pieces of paper? Take the Mod Hodge. Take a look at the book on the floor over there. I'll take a look at this arcane. It's back. The bookcase. There's a something under here. Come on, help me move it. Dun dun dun. Oof, this is heavy. I can feel it slipping. A trap door. Oh, I bet at least a hidden treasure. You should open it in case something terrible jumps out. Grunk. Oh, it's rusted shut. I guess we better come back with some oil. Uh, 
And so I don't know. Do we are we able to uh, like do something here? <laughs> See, I'm just gonna get rid of those. Um, So it doesn't look like there's anything we can actually do there. Okay, I thought maybe, but it does not appear. So um, yeah, not sure where that's going to lead to, but that was a good start. That's cool. All right, let's head into town. Um, I still got to see the minecart update or the uh, minecart mod. I have not. Uh, I haven't updated mods in a bit was uh, I get increasingly like oh no every time I look at uh, improving the uh, the the mods okay Jacob's had enough let's go Mia Charles loves winter which makes the season more bearable how's it going Charles I think we're the best part of winter is looking outside and watching the snowfall have you been in the basement? I know I shouldn't snoop, but it it wasn't locked or anything. Interesting, eh? Oh. Uh. Okay, maybe it would let me in even without using anything. I didn't try to just, like, normally go in. Uh, that's a problem. Okay, I should have done that. I was assuming I wouldn't be able to, like, you know, like, normally do that. Um. Okay, here, let's go and put, uh, yeah, there we go. Bunch of things away. Oh. <laughs> How's efficient life going for you? Yeah, sorry, Willie, let me just get out of your way. Oh, well, what is this? It's hopping here tonight, oh my gosh. A red moon, please. Okay, Maru. Thanks, Harvey. Thanks, Gus. Over here, dear. It's a full house at the saloon tonight. I don't think I've ever seen it this packed. Emily will take your order soon. I'll wave her down for you when she sees us. I'm sampling a new brand of wine from Sunshine Vineyard. It came all the way from the Fern Islands. They never cease to amaze me. Gus! I strongly dislike beer. It tastes like moldy bread to me. I prefer dry red wine. The life of a farmer seems very demanding. I sometimes catch a glimpse of you going about your days with great haste. Tell me, how do you do it? Well, you know, dot dot dot. Foraging and making food on the go? My my, if you ever require a home-cooked meal, don't hesitate to drop by my residence. They did a good job of making this place seem alive. Uh, sorry, I'm on I've had my hands full tonight. There's so many people. What would you like to drink? Star Drop Saloon Cocktail Menu. Oh, look at this. Shooting Comet. Lunar Horizon. Rosette Nebula. The Big Bang. <laughs> Red Moon. Well, I have no idea. Uh, Red Moon, Big Bang, Rosette Nebula. Well, let's go with the, Maybe that sounds interesting. The Rosette Nebula is one of my favorites. I'm happy you chose this one. Be right back. Wow. Emily is a wonderful waitress. My favorite cocktail, cocktail is the Red Mood. I'm satisfied with my wine for tonight, though. Pierre and Carolyn are having a hoot. <laughs> Here you are. Enjoy. Thanks. The mayor's having a laugh. I don't want to tell you about some of my... I want to tell you about some of my family residing in the Katora Empire, dear. Oh, okay. I, I see. We weren't just closing out the place. Ah, oh, this is a chicken. I was like, what is that over there? Okay, uh... Hey, guys. Okay, here is your... Your coconut, my friend. Coconut. Now there's a soothing sight for my winter eyes. It's going to be perfect for my Coco No-No. Andrew, I have a cup of... Too many people these days speaking nonsense being disrespectful to us older people. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, 
Hey, Leo. Is there something you wanted to talk about? Uh, I'll be honest, Leo. At this point, I can't keep anything straight. Uh, let me see here. <laughs> Where are we? I'm almost at the Ten Heart with Morris. That's amazing. Um... Yeah, okay, so we're kind of just, like, like moving on along with everybody here. Um, okay, and Adine is going to be... Yeah, she's coming up. Uh, so is Claire. Hmm. All right, so I've really got to be spending my time over in the other part of town. Uh, catching up on things there, I think. Oh, somebody's dog. Hey, Lily. Henry's like, okay, be much cuter without those glasses. Oh, look at the gang. Whoa, I'll get out of your way here. It's like eight. Oh, it's not that even that late. Okay, let's head back over to the Adventurer's Guild, I think. I feel like that's worthwhile. Hey, bud. Oh, no, Abigail's here. <laughs> it is nice, though, that we run into the kind of non-stop cutscenes in weird places. It's good. Oh, she just spooked her hair into a... Uh... <laughs> There's a few bats coming out there. I'm not scared. You're scared. What happened? Mod Hodge. You know I've been practicing my swordsmanship for a while. Well, I decided today would be the day I venture into the caves. But I got scared. I couldn't do it. I guess I'm not as tough as I thought. You're safe with me. I get scared too. You're crying like a baby. Stop. <laughs> I get scared too. I guess when you have something to lose, it's normal to be afraid. I really like you, and not just as a friend, you know that, right? I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but I can't keep it anymore. I felt this way for a long time. You don't have to say anything right now. Let's just stay here for a while. Ooh. So, uh, had we officially... I, I, oh yeah, okay. There we go, we're... We're all ten hearted up with her. Um, hey, bud. Oh. The mines are treacherous. Be careful. My wares will help keep you alive. Will they, though? Because I, I have concerns. Okay, now are the is the gang back? Here we go. Oh my gosh, Zinnia. Uh, I'm flaking out here. What did you like again? I, I remember and then I forgot. Do, 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 Okay, well, you'll take a coffee. Okay, that's fine. I just think that I should visit your farm someday. I always like to visit my neighbors and keep our friendship growing. I think she really likes green tea is what it is. Like, she'll tolerate a coffee. But it's like, it's not her favorite. What is what's dude doing? Is he... Doesn't seem like he's up here. Oh, there he is. Hey, bud. Okay, what's going on? Taking the weekend off. Oh, me? Never. I have to work every day if I want to reach my goals in time. Okay, so... What is my... So I'm just going to increase my friendship with happy or silly. <laughs> happy, silly, whatever your... Silly happiness. That's fine. I think we're gonna go uh, head to the bus stop. We'll get ourselves some seeds here. I guess we'll get our uh, our sandy gifts here. Last few of the season. I feel like it's gonna wrap up rather quick. Okay, let's dump off all of our stuff we were working with here. Goodness knows, there's a few things. OK, 
Okay, so we've got... Yeah, everything is smelting down nicely. That's good. Perfect. So I have... Uh, yeah, 35 bars of iron. Now... Oop, uh, I wanted to sell this. What was I waiting on? Oh, I can make a pile of kegs. Okay. I think that was essentially what I was... <laughs> I was just waiting on stuff to finish that, so let's uh, get this going. Um, now, yeah, see, that's the problem. I can't get out. <laughs> okay, so what we'll do is this. I'll take this. So we've, like, loaded this place up. That's That's great. Okay, um, what if I were to put a, kind of put a keg like right where I'm standing? No. Okay, that's not going to work. So I'm going to have to take that one out uh, and put you there. All right. So, uh, we got, I guess I've got stuff from Grandpa's shed here. Oh, no, because I'm going to put that into... Never mind. Okay, so I've got this fruit from the greenhouse. I guess I could dump this in here. Sure. Not really going to... I'm not paying too much attention. It's all good. Okay, so this stuff is going. That's the main thing. Um, what was this stuff? It is ancient fruit wine. Okay, so the grandpa's shed. I got 40 ancient fruit wine. I got a whole pile. Okay, that's that's looking good. Um, now, as for the casks... I'm trying to think if I've actually made that many. Uh, right, so I could make a pile more casks. I could fill this right up with casks and then put kegs up top. It does seem like the casks take a lot longer, like I need a mountain of them because it just takes so long to... But how many could I make? Eight. Right. Oh, um, okay, I'm out of wood. <laughs> All right. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Let's go with uh, casks. All right, so we'll slowly get this all fitted up. Um, yeah, and I'm going to need to put the uh, all the rest of the stuff, uh, I guess, up in the upper area of the thing. I've got all the extra kegs. All right, we will see you all next time. Till then, bye-bye.